So this is part two, or I guess the second drive. I will ha have a link in the uh, video to the uh, last time or last year when we uh, remediated the corrosion on the uh, the other drive. This is uh, this is the second drive. I'm going to do it a little bit differently this time. This one's probably a little bit worse than uh, than the one from last year. Have a few uh, touches with the bottom as well, but there's a, there's an awful lot of corrosion on this one. And you can kind of see it, uh, well, pretty much everywhere. And this is uh, this is the way that uh, we we bought it for the most part. I don't believe that it's really gotten that much worse since we've had it. We've been trying to trying to take care of it. So they were doing some work in the winter time on uh, replacing the steering seal. So when they took it off, I decided to remediate this one as well. This one I'm going to do a little bit differently, and I'm going to try. Uh, sandblasting it given how much corrosion uh, sanding it by hand was just boy it took a lot of time last time so from what I've been able to find out and in talking with the mechanic we'll just plug these these vents when we sandblast it and over in here is the uh, exhaust port we'll block that one and then really other, other than sealing this whole face so that nothing gets on that face, there's really nowhere for the sand to go. So no one seems to think that it's going to be a major problem. Um, and then we'll do it the same way. We'll, we'll get it sandblasted, we'll treat the aluminum, and then I'll go get it uh, painted. So I'll show that as, uh, as we go, but uh, this is the before shot. Okay, so back from sandblasting, it actually went really pretty well. Um, the folks that did it, that's their business. And they said that the paint came off actually really easy. You can see they didn't get under there, under the under the fin all that well, but a little bit of sanding will, will take care of that. It uh, really exposed the amount of corrosion that was under the paint, which I didn't realize was quite so much. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna really worry too much about the chips that are out of here. I, I could take it in and get it welded, but it's not it's not really material to me right now, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. But I, uh, I headed outside, and I actually just, the exhaust ports, I flushed water through there and through the, the port so that it came out here. There's, so there was no dust left on the, uh, in anything from the, from the sandblasting. Again, you can kind of see... The lighting might not work out really, really well here, but again, I just I, I didn't realize it was quite so so pitted in terms of the uh, in terms of the uh, corrosion. But I was pretty pleased on how it all turned out. Again, on the, you can see I got some bad corrosion on the end here. So it was like that when I bought it. I'm in the process actually to have the uh, steering shaft uh, changed, and as part of that, they took it off, which is why I'm doing it. But I also had them take off the bell housing, and I had that sandblasted as well. Um, and again, you can kind of see the the corrosion that that was on it. It just that would have been almost impossible to try to sand off. So what I'm going to do is I spent some time doing some research in terms of what to do with this pitting, and it would seem that this here stuff, the the JB weld is what I'm going to try. I think in retrospect I'm going to have to go back and get a much bigger tube because that's not going to go very far. But So the next step will be putting that and applying it onto the... I plan just to use like a, you know, a little scraper or, or a, put it on and smooth it out, sand it smooth and then we should be good. And then we'll do the uh, the aluminum prep and alodyne, and then we're ready for paint. So I won't show all the all the details, but when I get a section of it done here with the with the uh, epoxy, I'll uh, I'll show you what it looks like. So here's what it looks like after the just doing that one section on the skeg. Lesson learned was make the coats even thinner. It took a little bit more sanding than what I anticipated. I don't know if you can see it with the light, but it's 
it's actually fairly easy to see like where the low spots still are based based on the color it's a little bit darker than than where it's sanded there's some small little areas again i don't know if that shows up or not but in the in the light but all in all it actually turned out pretty well a lot of the corrosion is filled and smooth there's just a couple of little areas primarily over here that require a little bit more of a, a thinner coat on it a little area that i missed but seems to work pretty well again just a little bit too much sanding the more than i wanted i'll put the coats on a little bit thinner and start moving up the drive and see how far i get so not to bore you with uh, all the sanding and the filling but i thought i'd show you a little bit so i found that i just used a, you know, a little scraper to put it on I found that if uh, you put it on thin, and all I did sort of was just, you know, laid it across, and then, you know, you can scrape it off this way. Put it on really thin, and then when you think it's too thin, make it thinner. Because sanding wasn't an easy chore. I went through so many pads of sandpaper with this epoxy. So, this is actually two coats uh, to fill it. I put on a fairly thin coat to basically fill it, sanded it down, and then put another second thin coat on top of it and sanded it down. And that seems to work really well. It doesn't take too long to sand it off, as well as, uh, you know, it's a, it's a two-step process, but it seemed to be the easiest. So getting ready for the next step. This is... You can see how much epoxy had to go into filling all the corrosion. I'm really glad that I did the sandblasting because I was surprised about how much corrosion there really was. I'll do some, I'll do some like uh, before and after pictures at the end, and uh, you'll be able to see what it was like when it started with the uh, with the epoxy into it, and then with the final paint on it. We'll see what it looks like when it's all finished up. Had, uh, I know the end cap here had quite a bit of pitting on it, so it'll be interesting to see how that turns out. It's actually really smooth. It, uh, it should turn out really well. So the next step of this is using this Aluma Prep. And I can't really see the title there, but uh, it basically you dilute it with some water. You, I just use a paintbrush, a small paintbrush, and keep keeping the surface wet for about, oh, I think it's about three or four minutes at the most, and then you rinse it off. And it turn, it takes a, it makes it quite bright and quite clean. And then the next step is using Allodyne. And the Allodyne is a finish that uh, bonds to the aluminum and then the paint bonds to that. So based on all the research that I had done, this was the, the preferred way of uh, preparing for the paint on aluminum. And I gotta tell you, like the, uh, I did uh, the other drive, which I'll have a link to uh, in, the, in the notes where I did it with this. And after one year, I'll, I'll put a picture in too, that, uh, it turned out really well. I was really pleased how it, how it came out at the end of the year. There was like no corrosion, no paint chips, nothing was loose. I was really happy with it. So, so I won't bore you with the details, but basically, like I said, you mix this stuff up with a little bit of, a little bit of water, put it on, let it sit for three or four minutes, rinse it off. And then you basically do the same thing with the Allodyne, mix it with a little bit of water, put it on, leave it for three or four minutes, rinse it off, keep it wet at all times and then uh, rinse it off after three or four minutes. And then it's off to the paint shop. So that'll be the next update. So I will, I will point out one thing here. I found that there was areas like, it's kind of hard to see, let me change the lighting here, like down, down in spots that were really hard to sort of get to. Um, they didn't sand well. It was hard to get the epoxy in without making it uh, kind of lumpy. Um, and 
they're just more difficult, like around the down in this area, around the screws, things like that. So again, my purpose was to 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 remediate the corrosion, which the sandblasting has done. It so the only thing that's going to happen is really that when the paint goes on, it may actually show through the paint a little bit, but that's a compromise I was willing to make versus making it just look. I was afraid it was going to look crappy if I tried to to put the epoxy in. I tried it in a couple of spots and it, I wasn't that happy with it. So I decided just to leave in some areas where I just wasn't able to get to the corrosion easily with the epoxy. So we'll see how that turns out when it's painted. But that was a compromise that I was able, I was willing to make for, for this exercise. So anyway, I'll get the uh, aluminum prep on and the aldehyde, and we'll show you then. So just putting the uh, aluminum prep on, which is just the preps the aluminum, cleans it before we put the aldehyde. All I'm really doing is just mixed it up. Uh, since uh, since I sandblasted, I decided to do kind of a about a four to one mixture with water, and really just all you do is brush it on. Uh, I've already done it, and just actually towards the end of this, it's, it's been sitting on here probably about three or four minutes now. You just keep it wet. You don't let it dry out. And then the next part is just to rinse it off. So it's it's below zero here. Part of the part of the problem where I would take it out in the garage and just rinse it off out there. So all I have is one of these little pumps with water. And all I'm going to do is just rinse it down and rinse it off. Collect the water and the trays and dispose of it. Oops. I'm missing a little bit. To So I won't bore you with the rest of it, but once it's once it's rinsed off, then we'll just let it dry, and then we'll put the uh, aldehyde on. It's exactly the same process. Just mix it up, probably about a three to one mixture, a four to one mixture, and put it on, rinse it off, let it dry, and then it's off to the paint shop. Well, we're back from the paint shop. This is how it turned out. Not sure what the the lighting, if it'll come out nice and clear or not here, but it's a bit of a, a bit of a darker day today. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. You can see in some areas if it will show up here. Kind of like areas that as I said earlier it was just hard to actually try to fill so I left them. So you can see some of the corrosion through the the paint in some in a couple of areas again down in here is another one my intent again was to deal with the corrosion um, which is what I did and it looks a hundred percent better than it did when we start I'll leave a few before and after photos um, at the end of the video a couple of things that I did notice was that my uh, my sander has a a bit of a this actually turned out really nice compared to what it was to begin with my sander has a, a bit of a hard base a, hard, a firm base to it so again it may not show up in the light here but there are a few sanding marks uh, if I had to do it again I probably would use a softer pad on my uh, on my sander but all in all it turned out really well Nope, it's as, it's as much as I had expected. And again, you can see some like where it was badly corroded. So this has all been 
you know, I wasn't going to be able to sort of fill this area at all. I'm not sure if that'll turn out there. I can see it. Um, but again, I, it was to deal with the corrosion, which is what it's what I was trying to accomplish. So, all in all, I'm really pleased. This is uh, uh, three coats of uh, epoxy primer, two coats of paint, and uh, a clear coat on top. So, so there you go. That's uh, the corrosion remediation for the port drive, and that's uh, both of mine done. So hopefully this uh, this lasts for a few years.